Hey, hey, hello. My name is Quatisha Renee, and you are watching Quatisha Creates. My baby, my Valentine. Hello, besties. Today we have a quick and easy tutorial that you can do in no time at all. You guys, all it takes is a few simple supplies, and you can make the most amazing customized gift for yourself or a loved one or I mean anybody anybody you fancy okay <laughs> so just stay tuned and I'll show you how I made this amazing gift for my husband stay tuned here's a list of the supplies you'll need so I use a Cricut maker to cut my stencil so we'll be starting this video in design space it is an app that comes with your Cricut the image we'll be working with today came from designbundles.net so we're going to go ahead and import that into our campus Once we have our image imported onto our canvas, we can resize it. I'm first going to resize it to about three, and then we're going to find a font that we're going to put our name in. And I wanted to go with something very simple that also was similar to the large letter in this design. So I ended up going with Arial Narrow, and it was perfect. Now we're going to type out our name and then we're gonna size that down to fit in between in the split area. Select both of them and change them to black. After we've done that, we're gonna select them both and we can just go ahead down here and weld them together so now they're one piece. Once we have them as one piece, we're gonna come over here, select a shape, choose us a square. I'm gonna go ahead and change it the color that I want. Gonna make this a little bigger. Gonna line them up together and I'm gonna send this to the back. I'm gonna send the square to the back. And I wanna make sure my square is big enough because I want it to kind of like have some room on this side right here I'm just gonna play with the sizes and um, the positioning we select them both and what we're gonna do is come down here and hit slice we slice this is what creates our stencil now we can move this away and we have our stencil and we can just go ahead and delete these two pieces we no longer need them this is what we want and um, we're going to go ahead and duplicate them we have four glasses I'll likely end up doing four and we'll duplicate it again so that now we have four and hit make it once we're brought to this screen I'm going to make sure that I know how much vinyl I need to cut so we're going to measure out our Cricut stencil vinyl we're gonna measure out about six and a half really we only need six and a quarter but because I've messed up enough I always or I've recently started making sure that I cut more than enough so we're gonna cut six and a half so I always write top on my top sheet that way when I'm laying it down I can lay it you know down here and hope to keep you know the side that actually touches the mat clean so after we um, place our stencil vinyl on the mat, we're going to smooth some of these bubbles out. We're going to head back over to our computer and set our vinyl or our, our material base as the stencil vinyl right here. And then we're going to load our mat. So now we're gonna clean off our glasses. I have some 60% alcohol and a coffee filter. I use coffee filters because paper towels, they tend to leave um, 
more lint than coffee filters. Coffee filters will leave lint also. You just have to be careful. Sometimes lint will just show up out of nowhere. While we wait for our vinyl to cut, we're going to grab our armor edge and a sponge brush. Now that the vinyl is completely cut, we're going to cut away some of this extra vinyl. So I've decided that we're just going to do two of these for the sake of this video. We are going to go ahead and start weeding them, but for now what we're actually going to do is just peel away the outside so that we have our squares. Grab our transfer tape. I purchased this paper tape from Amazon. It's a huge roll and I've had it forever because I hardly use it. So I'm going to take this paper tape and I'm going to make sure that I line the top edge along the edge of the square because I can't see through the paper tape. So we're just going to go with, you know, edge to edge. So that's going to assist us when we go to apply it onto our glass. Okay, so now we're going to pull off the backing of the vinyl um, off of our vinyl <laughs> we're gonna pull off the backing <laughs> and apply it to our glass as we apply our vinyl to our glass we're gonna make sure that we're bringing it right up to the rim that's how we're gonna make sure it's even and then we're gonna go and we're gonna smooth it down in the center first this helps to eliminate bubbles and then we'll go to our sides Once we've got it on there good and smooth, we're gonna go ahead and peel back this transfer tape. And then we're just gonna repeat the process for the second glass. Once we've applied both of our stencils, we're gonna go ahead and start weeding our stencil. Now, because we're weeding the stencil off of the glass, we need to be extra careful so that we don't scratch it. And I know this isn't the traditional way that we typically weed um, adhesive vinyl, but the stencil vinyl is so, like, flimsy. I just felt like this was the best option, the best way to uh, weed this vinyl. So I'm just going to fast forward through this situation because it seemed like it actually took forever for me to weed these two. Had to go get my fancy nail polish holder. I purchased this off of Amazon. It was a recommendation by another maker I bought probably about a year ago and it helps um, with like little pieces and scraps of vinyl to keep it away from you and getting stuck all over the place. And I mean, I must say it looks really nice against these black gloves. check out our work make sure we didn't miss anything and woo child that took a long time so we're gonna skip right past this one so now that we've completely weeded those decals and we have our stencils and everything we're gonna get our armor edge you're supposed to shake it really well so we're gonna shake it and we is we're gonna make sure it looks good because i haven't used it in a while so <laughs> it looks good and you know i'm gonna use what i have in the lid first because i mean why not So we're going to take the product and just dab it all over the open space. We're going to be careful not to go outside of our stencil because we don't want this cream on our bare glass. We only want it through the stencil. So we're just going to dab it all over and then once we have it all over, then we'll go like side to side, up and down, front to back, however you want to. We go in all these different directions and make sure it is completely covered and we've got you know full coverage so the instructions say to leave the product on for one to three minutes and i was like nah i ain't gonna do that 
that just didn't seem like enough time so I decided I would push it to five so once I got all of the product uh, completely on the second one then I set my timer for five minutes and then I just kept playing with it like while I was waiting on my timer to go off Five minutes is up. So now we're just gonna rinse off the armor edge. Um, I like to kind of go like in a circular motion because I feel like I'm also like continuing to work it in by but also you know rinsing it off at the same time so I kind of like work in a circular motion and then I try to make sure that I'm getting in the crevices like really really good and yeah we'll do that for both of our glasses after we've rinsed them off pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and take the stencil off right here at the sink because I want to rinse it again after I take the stencil off so I can be sure that all of the product all of the cream is off of the glass and then we do the same exact thing with the second glass So now we're just going to go ahead and dry them down. I'm using coffee filters again. Um, I did dry them off with some paper towels while in the kitchen. And then when I got to the room, they were still pretty wet. So I just used the coffee filters that I had in my room and dried them down some more. I absolutely love the way that these turned out. They are absolutely beautiful. These turned out absolutely amazing. And like I said, they were so quick and easy. I hope this tutorial was quick and easy as I felt it was to make them. If you have any questions, please make sure you comment down below. Um, also, comment down and let me know what you want to see from me next. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video thank you for continuing to support me i truly appreciate it share this video with a friend share this video with a loved one you guys um, tag some people that you think would be interested in content like this um, don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you aren't already bye bye Tell your friends to pull up. <laughs>